the JVA Z range of security energizers. The range currently consists of a Z11, Z13, Z14, Z18, Z114 and a Z28 energizer. The first number, such as in a Z13, the 1, refers to the number of zones, so it would be a 1 zone, and the second number, the 3, refers to the number of joules of the unit. So Z13 would be a 1 zone, 3 joule unit. Your basic kit, when you purchase it, comprises of the energizer, the battery, the power supply, and a keypad, if you've decided to purchase a keypad with it. Otherwise, you'll use the key switch. When you purchase the basic kit, what you receive, first of all, when you open it, there's a drilling template, which you can rip off the box and use the holes to drill your template when mounting the energizer on the wall. When you take the energizer out the box, it comes with the manual. This energizer here is a Z18 energizer, one zone, eight joule unit. There is a protective layer across the sticker, which you may remove before installing. The energizer in the box comes with two eight by 80 nail and anchors, the operating key and an Allen key to open the box. Here we have the energizer. Please note this has connect battery before connecting 16 volt AC power supply. The reason is for this is if you have the battery there, it will reduce the likelihood of any sparks through the mains hitting the main control board. The system comes with a battery tray. Slide the battery tray inside there. Put the battery in position. Remove the terminals of the battery and you'll be ready to click your 12 volt apparatus in place. The general appearance of all the Z range energizers is pretty similar. The high voltage is all on the left hand side of the board, protected by a black piece of plastic. On the right hand side we have all the low voltage components of the energizer. On the back of the board is the caps, transformer or transformers depending on the size or rating of the energizer. On the Z18 we have over here, it comes with three spare relays. These are programmable relays. If you wanted to bring in armed response, um, low voltage warnings or interface to a radio system, you have these relays. You can though through perimeter patrol just plug straight into the keypad and using the IT function of the energizer control the energizer via a PC. The rest of the low voltage terminals at the bottom, the 16 volt AC terminal, that is where your power supply will wire into. You then have a strobe. The strobe light is a latching light, keeps the light on, it gives you information when you come back to your fence, your house, your factory. If the light is flashing, you know the alarm went off at some stage previously to your returning. The next contact is a siren. This terminal latches for three minutes and then stops so that anybody tampers with the fence and the alarm goes off. For three minutes, your siren will go non-stop. After that, it will reset itself and wait for the fence to be tampered with again. Next three terminals are for the keypad. Then we have a gate function. When you receive the energizer, the gate is bridged out. The gate is if you want to put any form of tamper on the energizer. If it's going in a case and you want the case to be opened or the York box to be opened for the alarm to go, use the gate. Or if you want the energizer to monitor the physical gate of the homestead or industrial building, when the gate opens, the alarm will go. The gate function is also fully programmable, so you can set a time limit for when and when times the gate opens and for how long the gate must be open. The next is an input function. This is if you'd like to arm and disarm the energizer by remote or add a second key, you'd wire it into the input function. On the high voltage side, we have live out and live return on a Z18. Your high voltage going out, your high voltage coming back. If the voltage were to drop on the return to a preset level of 3000 volts, the energizer alarm will go off. That again is all fully programmable. You can set the settings up and down if you wanted. The system also has earth continuity monitoring. This basically means that you can put your earth and your live in series. If the earth wire series circuit is cut, 
the alarm will go as well. In standard guards, the unit has a key on the side to switch it on and off. You can, though, through the use of the input, make a mag switch if you'd like, or if you'd rather use the keypad, you can use the keypad to arm and disarm the system, or any of these systems can be put into an IT network, a networked, and the computer can decide to switch it on and off. We also have a GSM module, which if plugged into the keypad bus, can also be used to arm and disarm the system. So the system has a wide variety of arming and disarming methods. The standard, simple method is the key switch that arrives with the unit when you buy it off the shelf.